How to create a table under Superbase? Two options. The first option is to uh, go to the table editor. The second option is to go to the SQL editor. I'm going to go to the table editor. I'm under the schema public and I got a button new table and all the tables that I will create will appear here. So a table, it's basically like an Excel file or a Google Sheet file. You got rows and columns. Here I got other schemas and if I click on them, we can see that we have already tables that have been created, but we're going to come back to it on the schema listen. I'm going to come back to public and I'm going to click on new table. And the first thing is to give a name of my new table. So here the naming convention, it's basically to use here snake case. So basically what you would like to do by default is to type order of my uh, app. Okay. So basically here you put some space. This is not a good practice. Probably what you want to do is to do order of my app. But here we can see that uh, of my app, it's completely dumb. What we would like to do is to make short names. It's better to understand. And here we can see that we got orders. Okay. You can also uh, use, of course, um, kebab case if you want. Um, but the thing is that uh, normally here, what you would like to have is something that respect a certain convention. So here I'm going to use the snake case convention. Um, here I can fulfill a description if I want to, it's optional. And down here we can see that we can enable the row level security policy. We're going to see that in another, another lesson just after. Here it's for the security of your app. If you don't check this, basically, here your uh, table will be publicly readable and writable. Once you check that, you will have to write the policies to access your tables. You can also enable the real time by default and here you can add some Colons. We are going to talk about it just after and the foreign keys. Okay, I'm going to click on save and basically here it's going to create my first table adding the first columns. And here we got two columns, ID and created that. We are going to look at the types just after. And there we go. We've got here a column with an ID and a created that. So let's say that I would like to insert a new element. I can click here, insert a new row. If I would like to insert a new colon, I could click here on insert a new colon and I could import my data from CSV. Once my um, uh, table is created, I can access it by using the schema public dot orders. Okay, so I got here the filter. If I want a filter, I can sort and I can also check the RLS policies and I can uh, um, check the roles. So here we're going to see later the database roles. How do we see the table depending on the roles? I got the real time off and I can see that I can click here on API docs. And which is really cool is that um, some documentation has been created with my table orders. So we can see here that I got piece of code in JavaScript that I can use to query any orders. Okay, let's just create, for example, here a new order and I'm going to here type one and uh, there we go. We're going to have one order created. Let's insert new rows just for the example. So I'm going to add a number two and there we go. We've got here our orders. My terminal here connected directly to my instance of Postgres. I can try to select here all my orders. So if I type select all from orders, we can see that I got my two orders with the colon ID and created that, which correspond to this one. Now I'm going to create a table under the SQL editor. And to do so, I'm going to use the AI assist assistant. So I'm going to type, hey, write a query to create a table profile with keys, ID, created at, and user ID, for example. All right, we can see that I got this code and what I can do is either to hide the query, either to edit it in the SQL editor or just run it. I'm just going to click here and click on insert code and suddenly we got all of this. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to remove all of that and just take a look at that. We can see here that I got the table that will be created. So I'm going to click on run and suddenly there we go, success, no more return. So what I can do is just to come back to my SQL editor and I can try to select everything from here. And I think it's profiles with an S profile. 
Let's call it profile, there we go. And if I type enter, we can see that there is zero row. Of course, because there is no profile in here. But if I come back, we can see that I got my table profile, and we can see that uh, the RLS policies have been disabled in this case. And we can see here that we got a relationship. We're gonna take a look at that after. 